I want to walk you through my last seven years building over 15 AI apps. From the first project that I hacked together in college long before ChatGPT was a thing, to the project that I build now as a senior software engineer. It all started in 2018. Elon Musk left the board of a small company called OpenAI. It was also the year that I started getting into coding. Google had just released a massive announcement for Double AI. It's a voice AI that can make phone calls for you and book appointments. Sure, give me one second. Mm -hmm. I was mind blown by where that technology was going, but at the time I was still studying electrical engineering. I had just moved from Belgium to the US on a scholarship to do a master's degree, but I hated my studies. It was so boring. And while I was there, I had this idea to build a startup and make a million dollars in two years. My plan was since my master's degree will take around two years to complete, if I can build a startup now and then sell it by the time I'm done with my master's degree, I will graduate from college as a millionaire. This is really what got me into coding. I was never really passionate about coding, but having an exciting goal that I thought I could reach and using code as a tool to get there, this is what changed everything for me. My startup idea was to create an AI gifting app that can recommend you gift ideas for your friends and family. So essentially you open the app, answer a few questions about the person you want to offer a gift to, and then you're going to see a bunch of recommendations of gifts. When you click on it, it's going to open Amazon links. And every time someone purchases a gift through the app, I would get a small commission on that. At the time, I was completely new to coding web apps into AI in general. So I started doing research about how Netflix recommends movies using the recommendation algorithm. And that's when I discovered collaborative filtering and I wanted to implement that for gift recommendations. 2019, this year, I was finishing my master's degree. OpenAI had also just released GPT-2, a model that showcased impressive text generation abilities. But it was also raising some concerns about misuse and the company also switched from being a non-profit company to become a for-profit. At the time though, I completely missed all the news around OpenAI. I was busy building the MVP of my startup idea and trying to market it, but with no luck. I realized that I'm not a good marketer and I don't know how to sell this thing. In time I was running out, cash was low, I was about to graduate and I got an offer from an edtech startup based in LA. They had a cool team, it was a new company that was just starting up, they received funding and they wanted to build an AI tutor for high schoolers. I liked the idea a lot, I liked the team and so I joined them. 2020 hit and so did COVID. It completely changed the market and the startup where I was working at had to pivot which postponed our AI plans. So by that time, I still hadn't done really much AI work. I started reading the book AI Superpowers by Kai Fu Lee. This book blew my mind. This is when I understood that AI is going to change everything and it's coming much sooner than people expect. 2020 was also the year I started my first YouTube channel and at the end of the year, a friend shared a video with me showcasing the use case of a new AI model that had just come out. GPT-3. I was mind blown again and I had to get my hands on that model to try it. 2021, the world was in lockdown because of COVID-19. AI actually played a crucial role in the pandemic from drug discovery to data analysis. I was still trying to access the GPT-3 API, but I was still on the wait list. At the same time, there were a lot of concerns about AI's role in misinformation and deepfakes. I am not Morgan Freeman, and what you see is not real. 2022, I finally got access to GPT-3. This was six months before ChatGPT came out and I built my first GPT-3 apps. I built an AI that can turn your thoughts into tweets. I built an Andrew Tate AI chatbot. This was the time when Andrew Tate was going viral. Well, what color is your guy? And then I built a viral YouTube video ideas generator. I also moved from LA to NYC for a new job at a startup who had offices on top of the Empire State Building. At the end of the year, on November 30th, 2022, ChatGPT came out. It went absolutely viral, reached 100 million users in just two months. This was the fastest growing app in history. In 2023, I went deeper into AI and started learning more about it. GPT-4 was just released, a new model that showed very human-like outputs. And I used it to build a couple of apps like a children book AI generator, a viral tweet generator, and an AI that helps you prepare for your technical interviews. Then I taught 10 developers in my community how to build AI apps. This is the first Codebender cohort program. In my eyes, we're really starting history. In just a month, these beginners build apps like an AI that turns lectures into structured notes, an AI meal planner, an AI meme generator, and a ChatGPT clone that is voice controlled. It was such a good experience that a few months later we were back with another cohort. These guys were complete beginners, they had never built an AI app before and most of them had very basic coding experience. And in just a month they learned the skills they needed and they built apps like Wall Street Bets GPT where you can ask financial questions and an AI QR code generator that can create artistic QR codes for any URL that you provide. That year felt like 10 years in AI development. Every single company was adding AI as part of the roadmap, we had one big AI news every single week. AI agents, AutoGPT, Midjourney releasing an insane text-to-image improvement model, Eleven Labs releasing a human-like text-to-voice AI, and much more. 2024, the AI industry explodes, Nvidia stock goes through the roof, they 
is a war to get access to the GPUs because of shortage and because every single company wants to get access to AI. New competitors to OpenAI are starting to catch up with their models like Entropic, Google, Meta, Mistral and others. OpenAI gave us a preview of Sora, an insane text-to-video model. I also built over 10 AI apps and the year is not over yet, we're just in the middle of the year. I built apps like a chat with PDF, chat with site and AI to visualize concepts, a resume reviewer and six other projects. In my opinion, building AI apps is the best way to stand out as a developer these days and get opportunities. I also launched the AI Codebender Bootcamp, which is an improved version of the cohorts that I did in the past. It has over 90 students and this one you can take it anytime you want. It's going to teach you how to build a bunch of AI projects and how to get high paying jobs in the tech market. And I started an AI agency to help companies adopt AI solutions. I'll tell you more on that one later because there's a few interesting things that I discovered. Remember Codebenders, the future is AI and there is no better time to get in than now. Join the Codebender Nation, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, but everything I've told you will be useless unless you put it into practice. So I've created a specific video for you. Go watch it.